Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to do, this is part two of uh, Witches in the Church, Witchcraft in the Church, I believe it's called. Um, and I did this video part one a few years ago now. But it's so surprising that even today it is uh, stirring up quite a lot of controversy. Uh, and a lot of people are commenting and, you know, a lot of going back and forth between the witches and the, and the Christians. And I haven't really said anything too much, um, as far as responding to any comments. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a video about it. But I first want to say that for those of you who are, um, defending the faith on that video and I appreciate you so much because I believe that we are all in this together. It's just not about, you know, me having a YouTube channel and saying what I'm going to say. It's about it's about uh, promoting the truth of the gospel, the truth of uh, a living savior. Um, Christ. Um, so, you know, I, for the witches that are coming on and having to say what you have to say, I mean, that's, that's fine. That's great. I want to hear what you have to say, but I'm somewhat confused because, you know, if I'm talking about witchcraft in the church and that there are people in the church who are opposed to the things of God, who are opposed to doing things the way that God says that they should be done, who are opposed to um, the faith that those in the body of Christ have. If there are those in within the body of Christ who are opposed to those things, I don't understand what your problem is. Because you should be happy. I don't understand what you possibly, all that ram, 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 ram that you're doing, all that talking and all that back and forth, what you, it, it should, all, all thing you should have to say is, oh, yay, there are my people in the churches causing division, tearing it down. You, you should be happy about that. I don't understand what you what, what your problem is. Other than the fact that I'm calling them witches. And you don't want to be associated with them because. Because what? I mean, because y'all on the same y'all got the same belief system. I mean, you're opposed, you're antichrist. So what's the problem? I mean. Anyway, let me, let me let me move on. And furthermore, I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking about things that are happening and occurring in the in the church world, the body of Christ. I ain't talking to y'all Wiccans, witchcraft, blue witchcraft, white witchcraft, black. I I ain't not talking to you. But if you want to come and comment, that's fine too. It's all good. Um. So anyway, in that video, I was talking about experiences that I had well over 20 years ago. And I decided that I wanted to make a part two because um, it's important to know that the things that are going on today, um, a lot of them are happening in a, a, a much much deeper way. A lot of things are happening. Um, just, it, it's just mind blowing. You know, if you turn on Christian TV, you gonna see witchcraft in action. You know, it, it's, whew, it's mind blowing, you know, and a lot of times I record, you know, things that are on TV and, but you know, I'm very careful you know, about what I put on YouTube, on my channel, because, you know, it's so deep that those who say that they are ministers of the gospel, you know, they'll have your channel taken down. 
if you talk about what they're doing. And what, you know, I'm confused about that also, because it's like, if what you're doing is so from God, seem like you would want it out there. Seem like you wouldn't mind, even if someone didn't necessarily agree, but just by the fact that what you're doing, which you say is from God, is getting out there, it would seem like you wouldn't have a problem with that. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I watched just uh, just the other day this this lady, Pastor Dana. I don't even remember her last name, but if you watch Christian TV, you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, she's giving out smooth stones, smooth stones of David. And so the announcer comes on and, and says, get your smooth stone of anointed smooth stone of David today. The first 300 callers will receive this beautiful anointed smooth stone of David. I'm like, really? For what? What? So I, what? What? So I can prop it up and have another thing in my house to collect dust? What, what's it supposed to do? What is it? What what can it do for me or anybody else? Other than make Pastor Dana some money because I'll be on a mailing list and she'll keep sending me out crap until, you know, uh, whatever. Uh, and then you got uh, Bishop Jackson, you know, the one that was laying down on men to uh, ordain them a few months back. Well, I think it was more than a few months back, but the video came out a few months back. Uh, <laughs> the beginning of the year, I recorded where he had, uh, he was sending out a red string and a green string. The red string was for pr uh, protection, the green string for prosperity. And you could call in and you could get your string and have your protection and your prosperity via these strings. I mean, that, I mean, that, you know, if you go down to one of these palm reading places, I mean, I'm sure they probably do something very similar. I ain't never been to none of them, but I, I, they probably do something very, very similar to that, you know. Um, but I'm like, well, first of all, let me, if that were the case, if a red string could be used for my protection and a green string could be used for my prosperity, then I can go down to the yarn store myself and get a red and a green string. OK, because if I say that that's what that means. Then that's what that means. Then I can get my own. I ain't got to send for his red string or green string. OK, but evidently he is saying of himself that there's some power that he has when he sends the red and green string to me that it's going to send some uh, protection and prosperity my way when he sends it. Witchcraft. Uh, now, this is very surprising to me, you know. Now, T.D. Jakes, he, he's... He, <laughs> He's kind of difficult. Let me tell you why. <laughs> He's very difficult because he says things that are very motivational and even very uh, true. Because that, that, that's, what, that's what's so difficult about him. But what I've come to find out is regardless of how motivational and how true the things that he says are they're not the gospel you see what I'm saying so you know you 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 might as well listen to Anthony Robbins or so, uh, Les Brown some of these other motivational speakers you know to get the same information but see the problem is the problem in that that, not that there's anything wrong with being uh, motivationally uh, encouraged or not, nothing wrong with that in and of itself. But you have to make a distinction. There is no power 
in motivational speaking to transform or to save or to deliver anyone. See, that's where the confusion comes in because see the power of salvation is completely different than a motivational speech. Okay. So that's why he's kind of difficult because, you know, motivation, okay, t- tell me things that are true. Fine. You know, a lot of things, you know, it's like t- change your mindset, uh, ch- ch- change what you're doing if you want different results and all this kind of stuff. You know, m- much of what he says, it's true, but it's, there's no power to save, to transform a uh, life. Uh, t- here, I'll take it back for you to save a sin sick soul. Ain't no power coming through a motivational speech that can get to the core and the root of what our problem is as human beings. We, to the utmost, Jesus saves. Okay? That's it. That's all. And I don't need no motivational speech or sermon to... um, a motivational speech or sermon can't make that a rea- reality in my life or anyone else's life, okay? So therein lies the problem. So, um, but I noticed uh, while I was watching TV the other day that uh, T.D. Jakes is sending out um, c- a communion set. <laughs> so what I want to know is, what's that going to do for me? What is me taking communion from the set, the cup, the little platter, whatever he sends out, as opposed to a cup that I can get out of my cabinet? What what would that do for me? What is the reason? What is the purpose for that? Well, the reason and the purpose is for him to make money, I guess, because, you know, people will think, oh, I got this communion set from T.D. Jakes and... But see, you have to watch what is implied and what is subliminal, because what he is saying really is that there is a difference. Because if there were no difference in what you take communion out of, out of, he wouldn't send it in the first place. But he's saying that there is a difference. There will be a difference if you have communion out of this crap I'm sending to you. I don't know what the difference will be. Uh, it won't be no different, but he's he's making you think that there will be a difference. I don't. I, I, it's confusing, but um, it's witchcraft for you to make people think a certain thing about something that is not the truth is witchcraft. So, if I take communion. Um, it's, it's not about the platter or the cup that I receive it from. It's about the Christ who died, which is why I'm taking it in the first place. It has nothing to do with the artifact. It, it has nothing to do with that. And so I'm just getting angrier as I speak about it because the nerve, the nerve of you T.D. Jakes to diminish what Christ did on the cross through this crap that you're sending out, calling it a communion set. For what? Is there power in the communion set? It's crap. It's wood. It's hay. It's stubble. It's crap. Biz and Tiz and Larry Hutch, they, they do the same thing. They send out communion and Jewish artifacts and crap that is made in... Crap, manufacturing companies that pro, uh, make thousands of this crap and they send it out as if there's some sort of substance or power in it. It's crap. And at the end of the day, bottom line, it's witchcraft. So anyway, it, it is a lot, lot, lot more of it you know, there's a lot of it happening. It's um, it's terrible. It's terrible, and it's terrible that a lot of these people are presenting as representatives of of Christ, and they're nothing more than ministers of Satan. 
Y'all thank you so much for tuning in and be blessed.